It is time that I go back and watch the AK-50. Dun, 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 dun. Ba, 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 da, ba. It is time when you watch videos about gun pew pew stuff. Ba, ba, ba. Gun pew pew. That's why the intro. A famous man once said, There is no real ending, it's just the place where you stop the story. Who said that? What does it even mean? Doesn't matter. I said it because he said it, so now he was famous, and it's basically getting said by two well-known guys. <laughs> I don't... Tell you what, let's just start from the beginning. Damn. That is a one hell of an intro, man. Very cinematic. Holy shit. The Gentleman Jack. What is this? It's so cool. Such an awesome intro to this channel. There'll be no strings to find your hands. What the Not fuck? if my love can bind your heart. Yo, what the? This is amazing. There's no need to take a stand. For it was That's our one way to make someone to watch the intro again. Holy shit. An overpaid editor! <laughs> a well paid editor! My buddy sister! Your buddy sister is cool. I like it. Just call me Angel of the Morning Angel. Just touch my cheek before you leave me, baby. Just call me. Lost his election. Honestly, I heard about that. He seems like a cool guy. Is he not able to run again? Is it like a limited thing? I don't know how it works there. But this is one hell of an intro, man. This is like... Holy shit. This is amazing. I love it. Just come. Well done by his team. The AK-50! My name is Brandon Herrera, and this is my gun, the AK-50. If you're new here, there's a few things you need to know. So let's go back to the beginning. In the beginning, the universe was created. Mm, not that far. There we go, that's better. <laughs> so around eight years ago, I announced I was working on an insane task. To take an AK-47, the most iconic combat rifle in the world, and scale it up to the insanely large 50 BMG. You know, the caliber usually reserved for anti-aircraft guns, or the okay. one Archer said could kill a building. So just scaling up an AK to fire 50 BMG sounds simple Damn. enough. Archer reference? Cool. Right? Well, if you think so, then you know as little about weapon design as I did when I decided to announce it. You see, at the time, I hadn't even dropped out of college yet, and while I had already started building AKs, I knew nothing about practical gunsmithing. So I enlisted the help of my Whoa. local gunsmith, Chris Baker. And with the help of this redneck wizard, we got to work. So eight years ago, the dude was like, I want to change stuff and make my own gun. That was so cool. Like, how do you just wake up one day and be like, oh yeah, I want that. I want to do that. Some of the parts we designed and had made by local companies, the rest, we made ourselves with blood, sweat, and tears. But and mostly lots of blood. trials. And by May of 2017, we yeah. had enough of an AK-50 version one, ready to fire its first test shot. Live round. Damn. Three, two, one. She's together. <laughs> Full held, man. <laughs> you know you know how sure you are of your first prototype? I mean, the first thing you say after is it didn't go boom. <laughs> oh man, this reminds me of my chemistry experiments, funnily enough. So now step one was complete. The gun wouldn't uh... explode on its first shot. Congratulations. 
but we're not building a single shot gun. We need to make it semi-automatic, so we need to make it cycle. So from there, we added the gas system, the thing that makes AKs function. After okay. we added gas, we were able to make it successfully extract and eject its first round. Three, Ooh. two, one. It's Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Oh my God. That is a cool God story. Fuck yeah! Also a massive music, win for something that people had choice. said was impossible. Impossible. No, why would that be impossible? I mean, after all, you're just scaling up a 7.62 AK to the point where it would be able to fit 50 BMG, right? <laughs> yeah, just that. Just that. Yeah, yeah. So, sounds easy enough. Me being like... Uh... Uh... Well... No. You see, that's where you run into two different issues. First one being, even mm -hmm. though the size of the bullet is getting bigger and the size of the gun is getting bigger, the size of the person using it stays the same size. Meaning that if you just mm -hmm. scaled it up one to one, uh, you'd end up with something that looked like this. Not something that's really usable Ew. to anybody. Not like you could, because that's where your second problem comes in. That wouldn't work anyway because of something called square cube law. Square cube law is kind of an understanding okay. of physics that things don't scale up or down on a one-to-one -one ratio. In fact, mm -hmm. it's a lot more dramatic. For example, doubling the size of something doesn't just double everything else, like area and volume. Those might correspond by being four times or even eight times bigger. Without getting too fucking Bill Nye on you, a simple explanation of that is why an ant's feet are allowed to be super tiny and an elephant has to have four fucking tree trunks to be able to support its weight. It's not a one-to-one -one ratio. Then you have issues with gas volume, with relative pressures. Look, all of this to say, not as easy as making this this much bigger. A lot of engineering, a mm -hmm. lot of math to be done. But let's get back to the AK-50 timeline. I know a lot of you may not be super interested in gunsmithing and weapons technology, hey, weapons core. design kind of stuff. No, if you are, I think it's cool, honestly. I hope you know you can get your start at sdi.edu using the links in the description and the pinned comment. So to help nice. with this engineering Good workload, segue. we had a lot of help including my Brass Valley internship program, which, among other things, is where I found my current head gunsmith, Zach, someone who would prove essential in completing the 50 project. So after redesign, after redesign, after redesign, we settled on what would be the AK-50 V2, which would go away from the heavy and expensive milled receiver in favor of an easier, cheaper, and lighter stamped receiver. And in May of 2021, we were ready to test to see if an AK-50 could actually fire and cycle consecutive rounds, which it motherfucking did. Cycling test with a magazine. In three, two, one. I felt that trigger reset. I'm sending it again in three, two, one. Motherfucker. We made it to eight rounds in a row before it started slowing down and having hiccups. A death by a million pinpricks where a lot of tiny design flaws from pin sizes to cam groove angles, but at the end of the day, oh, you we can... still prove the concept. This it was gun kind of cool work. to see the time lapse of it. So now that we knew the AK-50 was possible, it was time to make the gun we actually wanted to make. Not just making the skeleton of a gun fire, but making a complete gun. From the handguard to the dust cover and optic mount to a few internal upgrades, it was time to make the gun that this we had always a wanted. Passion project. A fully functional, it's fully assembled, completed AK-50. But who was capable of making some of these parts? Well, we were lucky enough to be in the greatest country in the world, Texas. Which means industry <laughs> giants like of CNC I were in our backyard, and after that. finally finding a dance partner who could make our parts exactly as we needed them, the road to a finished oh. AK-50 was clearer than ever. But we made a lot of changes to the core of the gun over the last couple of years from what we learned from the V2, and we needed to know if this new AK-50 would function as we thought it would. How's that look? Dick Sarica. <laughs> Pretty decent. I'm not gonna hit anything there. Cool. Did he test fire if it's not ghetto? 
are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. This feels different. Strange going on, guys. AK-50 V3 test fire. Several Ooh. years in the making. Holy shit. Look at the cover that they're using now. Damn. You, like, how it started versus how it's going. It's crazy. First round. Three, two, one. That just fucking cycled. Think? First fucking try. What the <laughs> shit? So now that we knew the core of the AK-50 V3 was worked, working. it was time to add the rest of the gun, which as it turns out, led to its own problems. Ejection issues, dust cover not fully locking, there were a lot of minor details to overcome. But after months of fine tuning, we were finally ready to test what we considered to be a completed gun. Desperado shooting range. Is that like in the middle of nowhere? Holy shit. The way it looks right, as well. Going on. All right, AK-50, V3, completed, assembled, test fire. In three, two, one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, all right. That happiness when it works. <laughs> and when everything was functional ah! I've been waiting eight fucking years to do that. <laughs> oh. Oh, that smile, like, if we go back, where is it? Look at that. Look at that smile. It's like, it works, baby! <laughs> A passion project, eight years in the making. Holy shit. I think that was the that was the fastest we've ever fired it to. I think so. Fuck. That's so nice, honestly. God, who's next? Alright. Right. You wanna give a shot? <laughs> I got five in it. The testing. It was so good. Call of Duty put it Better in the game. Awesome. awesome. No, it's fucking wild. It's it's cool shooting it with it now fully together. Because awesome. now we've got this dust good cover, the optic mount, and everything. So we're shooting it with this uh, the the Trigicon 50 cal optic. Uh, the handguard lets us you know actually put a bipod on it so it's stable. We're not shooting it off of a <laughs> bunch of fucking sandbags. <laughs> yeah, having to uh, <laughs> being able to actually aim it instead of looking down the barrel and making sure it's vaguely on the berm. It's pretty like, nice. Just kind of sending it. Yeah. <laughs> The bipod we're actually using here is an Atlas bipod, but it's mounted using a QD Picatinny mount from uh, Sylvan Arms. They're actually a great sponsor of the channel. Super nifty, just quick detach. So when we're doing it for transport and whatnot, That's kinda cool. it's, a, it's a nice little setup. Also yeah, thanks to really Per Ammo for hooking us up with some of those 50 cal because uh, testing ammo for 50 BMG is not cheap. So we appreciate them as well. But now, We've loaded up a full magazine of 10 rounds How expensive because for are the we first time chat? in the AK-50's history, I think she's ready for mag dumps. So this is, <laughs> like I said, a long time coming. I think on the V2, we were able to get eight consecutive rounds before it gummed up, but now I, I think we're just gonna send it. I think she's good. I think she's ready. Do you concur, doctor? Uh, let's see what she does. Time to find out. Time to fuck around and find out. All right. Mag down. Three, two, one. That's very fast. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. There she is. Ah. That was really fast. In the words of the great warrior poet, Ryan Reynolds, I'm touching myself tonight. <laughs> Years in the making. Threat neutralized. Eight years.
gears thing. Watching this thing run is just so sexy. The only, the only thing that would possibly make this better is some high-speed footage. Maybe some ballistic high-speed. You see, when we had the ballistic nice. high-speed guys in town to record our gyro jet slow motion video, we asked for their help on one more project. Oh, Three, that's cool. Two, one. That's so cool. The collabs. Oh, wow. Yo, like, I need to move myself so you can see this. Like, look at... Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess, like, my wording is gonna be funny. Look at the tip chat. <laughs> the gun step, okay, not the other tip. Look at the wobble. Wobbly, 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 wobbly. I did not see that with all the high speed footage when I was looking at it. He later fixed the barrel wobble. Interesting. Just because I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Me and video games. <laughs> That's me in video games. I don't think I could I, I don't think I could carry this in real life, this weapon. I'll be honest. It was like it looks Rather heavy. Uh, keep in mind, I'm I'm like forty two kilograms. So uh, what was that in pounds again? I keep forgetting forty two two pounds. <clears throat> that would be ninety two pounds. Yeah. <laughs> how? Let's see. How heavy is the AK fifty? Mm, it. No, this is like a different one. The M07 weighs 35 pounds. I can't find the, this one, how, how heavy it is. I still assume it's rather heavy. <laughs> I, I still assume it's rather heavy. Really, the recoil is not bad. As heavy as it is, it shouldn't be. Time to shoulder fire this big heavy bitch. <laughs> it's been a long I mean, time coming. Okay, he calls it heavy. There ain't no way I am able to lift that. <laughs> I just like that. Oh, well, ten kilograms. Okay, maybe I can lift that. <laughs> so oh, impractical. Maybe I can lift it though. It's so fucking hot. I got nothing, that was just fun. <laughs> I don't think he needs, I don't think he needs to say yet. anything. Not yet. It's like his face does it all, he's just like happy. No, no thumbs needed today. Sweet. Yeah, my guess was around 20 kilograms as it well. It looks heavy. 10 is, I think it's okay. It's cycled just like that? Oh yeah. You did it! <laughs> New favorite 50 cal, right? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that feels really good. It's not too bad. The recoil is not bad either. No, that's awesome. Good job. I feel like a proud dad. <laughs> the proud gun dad. Oh, that was, that was so awesome, good. honestly. I, don't, I feel like a not proud dad. None of my kids can do that. <laughs> None of my kids can do that. A famous man once said, there's no real ending. It's just the place where you stop the story. Aww. Frank Herbert was the one who said that. He wrote Dune, so put some fucking respect on his name. Mm. But anyway, that's the story of the AK-50, or at least the story so far. We've come a long way from a future college dropout in a garage to millions of subscribers and whatever the fuck this turns into. So if I were to wrap it's this awesome up all time story, or whatever, I guess I'd say that the AK-50 was never a distraction or a hobby. It was a starting point. And now, who knows where we'll go. All I know is that I wouldn't be here without you. Where we'll go in the future, I have no idea. But what yeah, I do know is that today we can set aside the age-old question. Where AK-50?
hear AK-50. <laughs> nice. This was a cool edited video as well. Oh my god, the music! <laughs> <laughs> Best job I ever had. That's amazing. As a content creator, that is amazing. Uh, the video was really fun to watch. His passion project was cool as well to to see finalized. I didn't like know his channel until recently so i can't say i was part of that journey but he sounds like a really cool dude <laughs> and i'm happy that he's enjoying life the wear ak-50 mean for eight years yeah finally he gets to say it <laughs> it's okay that's okay they'll find another gun to <laughs> to question him on <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if he has merch of the Wear AK-50. That would be a cool merch idea. Anyway, YouTube, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, YouTube. Oh, and like and subscribe and comment.